Aleluya. ¿Cuánto sea gloria a Dios? Aleluya. How many say glory to God? A su nombre. And to his name. Aleluya. Es un placer. Antes que nada, quiero agradecer al obispo. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, Pastor Betcher, Bishop Betcher. Por la oportunidad que me da en esta noche de compartir la palabra. For the opportunity to share the word. A su esposa. To his wife. A los cuerpos ministeriales, los ancianos y diáconos, diáconos. To the ministerial team, to the deacons. Uh, gracias. Thank you. Um, no lo había dicho antes. I've never said it before. Porque no tenía tiempo. Because I didn't have the time. Pero ahora tengo un poquito más de tiempo. But today I have a little bit more of time. Hallelujah. So, gracias, so obispo, thank you. por la oportunidad. Thank gracias, you, Bishop, sinceramente. For the opportunity, sincerely. Hallelujah. Libro de Crónicas, capítulo 12. Book of Chronicles, 12. Capítulo 12, versículo 1. Primera de Crónicas, capítulo 12, versículo 1. Gracias a la hermana First Chronicles, por ayudarme a traducir. 12. Thank you to Sister Claire for <laughs> translating. Yeah. Hallelujah. Um, dice así en el nombre de Jesús. Estos son los que vinieron a David en Siclat, estando a él aún encerrado a causa de Saúl, hijo de Cis, y eran de los valientes que le ayudaron en la guerra. These were the men who came to David at Siclag while he, he was banished from the presence of Saul, the son of Kish. They were among the warriors who helped him in battle. Estaban armados de arcos y usaban ambas manos para tirar piedras con onda y saetas con arco de los hermanos de Saúl de Benjamín. They were armed with bows and they were able to shoot the arrows or to sling stones right-handed or left-handed. They were relatives of Saul from the tribe of Benjamin. Hallelujah. Vamos a orar en esta hora para que el Señor Jesús Hable en esta hora en el nombre de Jesucristo. Uh, we're pray Señor at Jesús, this moment, Padre we're, Celestial, we're, santifica, we're Señor Jesús. Jesus, oh Dios, Jesus, a nosotros, limpianos, Lord, Señor. You, Usa God, estos Jesus, labios Lord, de barro, Padre Celestial. Lips, God, en el nombre de Jesús, Jesus, oh Dios Todopoderoso. Anoint, God, Señor Jesús. Jesus Habla a través name. de mí, Señor. Speak through your servant, en el nombre God, de Jesucristo, of Jesus. Dios Todopoderoso. Thank you, God. Puede tomar sus asientos, aleluya. You may be seated, hallelujah. El título se llama No pierdas el tino. All right, the title is Don't lose the... Aim. ¿Cómo es tino? Aim. Aim, thank you. <laughs> don't lose, don't miss your aim. <laughs> no pierdas el tino. Voy a decir una palabra, si ustedes van, van, los que hablan español me van a entender. I'm going to say one word, the ones that speak Spanish are going to understand it. Dale, 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 no pierdas el tino. Hit it, hit it, don't miss the aim. Amen. No, no vengo a hablar de piñatas. We're not going to speak about piñatas. No vengo a hablar de fiestas. We're not going to speak about fiestas. I know it sounds funny. Or parties. Yo sé que suena chistoso. But I'm going somewhere. Voy a un lugar. No pierdas el tino. <laughs> Don't miss your aim. En nuestro caminar con Dios, a través, um, muchas veces pensamos que esto es solamente de un año, dos años. In our walk with God, sometimes we we think that it's just going to be one or two years. Y muchas veces vemos que otros hermanos desaparecen y están en el mundo. And sometimes we see some brethren that are lost in the world. Desde que tengo memoria, he escuchado que Jesús viene pronto. From a very long time ago, I have heard that Jesus is coming soon. Yes. Quizás algunos más grandes que yo de edad han escuchado lo mismo que Jesús viene pronto. And perhaps those who are older than I am have heard it more than I have. Han pasado días, han pasado meses, décadas, y el Señor ha retardado su venida. Uh, there's times that there's de it's delayed on days, decades, and the Lord has waited to come. De algo estoy seguro. One thing I am sure of. Las señales del fin del mundo cada día son más visibles. 
the signs of the end of the world are more visible nowadays. Nosotros como hijos de Dios, nacidos de nuevo del agua y del Espíritu, us as children of the Lord born of water and spirit Tenemos que mantener nuestra mirada en Jesucristo. we have to have our eyes on Jesus La Biblia Christ dice Hebreos 12, 2. the Bible says in Hebrews 12, 12, los ojos 12. En Jesús. looking unto Jesus the dale, 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 no pierdas el tino. hit it, hit it, don't miss the aim Dale, 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 no pierdas el tino. Hit it, hit it, hit it, don't miss the aim. Tenemos que tener nuestra mirada siempre en Jesucristo. We always have to have our eyes on Jesus Christ. Si vamos a tener aflicciones en el mundo. Yes, we're going to have afflictions in this world. Pero Jesús ya ha pasado por ellas también, como se nos dijo el domingo. But Jesus has already walked through those as well as they told Tenemos us on que Sunday. Tener siempre la mirada en We always have to have our eyes on en Jesus Christ. Palabras, no pierdas el tino. In other words, don't lose the aim. La Biblia dice en Mateo 6, the word of God says in Matthew 6.33. Mas buscar primeramente el reino de Dios. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. Y su justicia y todas las demás cosas serán añadidas. And his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Este es un gran principio bíblico. This is a, a, a beginning of a Bible principle. Bible principle, thank you. This is a, a, one of the greatest Bible principle that nobody mm -hmm. puts in practice and in other churches. But the apostolic church makes sure they put God first. Yeah. Amen. Que nadie más pone en práctica en otras iglesias, pero nosotros, la iglesia apostólica, así lo hace. Como cristianos, debemos de haber una diferencia en actitud referente a las prioridades. As Christians, we have to see a difference in our attitude as our priorities. Cuando dice, busca primeramente el reino de Dios, ¿acaso nos dice que debemos de dejar los deberes cotidianos? When it says to first seek the kingdom of God, isn't it right that we have to leave other things? Aquellas cosas, las cosas típicas que nos ayudan en, nuestra, en nuestro diario vivir. Things that help us in our daily living. No está diciendo eso, que dejemos de it, hacer lo que nos ayuda. It's not saying for us to leave those things that help us. Pero si nosotros cuidamos los asuntos de Dios como una prioridad. But if we take care of the things of God as a priority, buscando la salvación con temor y temblor, searching for the salvation, viviendo en obediencia a la palabra, living in obedience of the word, compartiendo las buenas nuevas de salvación, sharing the gift of salvation, la buena nueva de salvación del reino de Dios, the good news of salvation of God, Dios va a cuidar de nosotros. Y de nuestros asuntos. God is going to take care of us and the rest of the things. It's not because, no es porque yo lo diga. Not because I'm saying no it. No porque lo diga el obispo. Not because Bishop La is Biblia saying dice, it. La Biblia dice, Filipenses 4, Dios, mi Dios, suplirá todo lo que os falte conforme a sus riquezas en Cristo Jesús. Philippians 4.19 says, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Jesus Christ. Pero dale, 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 no pierdas el tino. But hit it, hit it, hit it. Don't miss your aim. I'm going to ask you, Stan, uh, I got your question. ¿Cuántos son cazadores aquí experimentados? Le voy a hacer unas preguntas. ¿Cuántos son? Cazadores. Uh, hunters. Hunters. How many of you are hunters? Amen. Okay. Good. ¿Cuántos han disparado un rifle por deporte? How many have shot with a rifle as a sport? Okay. Got better. Un, un arco. Un compound bow. A bow. <laughs> un, compound bow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Podemos ser el mejor francotirador de élite, 
we could be the best arrow shooter. I know I'm everywhere, trust me, but I'm going somewhere. Voy a un lugar, espérense. Uh, podemos ser el mejor francotirador. We can be the best arrow shooter. Sniper. S sniper, Elite sorry. Sniper. <laughs> sniper. <laughs> Pero si nuestra mira, can you put the, the image? Si nuestra mira no está bien calibrada. If our target is not calibrated correctly. Por right? mejor que seamos. For whatever, if we are the best that we are. Mientras nuestra mira no esté bien calibrada, if our, vamos a fallar. If our aim is not calibrated, we're going to miss. Dale, 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 no pierdas el tino. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Don't miss your aim. El tiro más largo de la historia moderna registrada fue en el año 2017. The shooting, uh, the longest shooting was in two, what year? The longest shot, shot. in modern okay. era was in 2017. El francotirador canadiense eliminó a un militante de ISIS a 3,540 metros. So somebody from ISIS? <laughs> Sorry to okay, the ISIS, the ISIS. Un francotirador de Canadá. So it, he was from Canada. A shooter mató from Canada. Killed, a un enemigo. Killed an enemy. De ISIS from en Irak. ISIS. A 3,540 metros. 3,040 meters. Es el récord más grande que hay en la That's historia. That's the biggest record that, that has been in history. Para poder lograr esta hazaña. To be able to achieve this, se requiere, it requires mucha disciplina, a lot of discipline, mucha práctica, a lot of practice. En el mundo espiritual, in the spiritual world, esto se llama, this is called oración, prayer. Estudio de la Biblia. Bible studies. Relación con Dios. Relationship with God. No pierdas el tino. Don't miss your aim. Lo voy a repetir porque esto está bueno. I'm going to repeat it again because it's good. Se requiere mucha disciplina requires, y muchas horas de práctica para lot of pegarle hours al blanco of sin fallar. Hit the target without missing. En el mundo espiritual necesitamos muchas horas de oración, In spiritual world we need hours of prayer, la Biblia, Bible studies, y mucha comunión con Dios. And a lot of communion with God. No, dale, dale, no pierdas el, pin, el tino. Hit it, hit it, don't miss your aim. Sometimes, a veces, I'm sorry, me, 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 se me cruzan los cables. Sorry, my cables get crossed sometimes. Eh, en mi trabajo tengo que hablar inglés y español al instante y se at, me cruzan. At work I have to speak Spanish and English instantly, so sorry. Um, me too. <laughs> good. I told, les dije que iba, 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 es una buena enseñanza. I said I was going to give a good teaching tonight. El, eh, a veces cuando nos, da, nos sentimos débiles y nuestra mirada decae de apuntar. Sometimes when we feel weak and we lose our sight. Um, la Biblia nos dice, nos enseña cómo obtenemos o de dónde proviene nuestra fuerza para seguir. The Bible tells us where we can get our strength to keep going forward. Salmo 18, 32 dice, Psalms 18.32 says, Dios es el que me ciñe de poder. It is God that girdeth me with strength. Y quien hace perfecto el camino. And maketh my way perfect. No pierdas el tino porque si lo pierdes, dice el dicho, pierdes el camino. Don't lose dale, your dale, aim. Dale, dale, dale. No pierdas el tino porque si lo pierdes, if, pierdes el camino. If you lose your aim, in Spanish it says you will, you, you will lose your, um, your walk. 
your path. Your road, your path. Pero la Biblia me dice but the Bible says que si pongo primero a Dios sobre todas las cosas, but if I put God first among all things, mi camino es perfecto. My ways will be perfect. Él es quien adiestra mis manos para la batalla. Quien adiestra mis manos para la batalla. He's the one who helps me for the battle. Yes. El versículo 34. 18, 34. Para, para entesar con mis brazos el arco de bronce. He teaches my hands to war so that the bow of steel is broken by my arms. Una vez traté de, de estirar un, un arco compuesto. A bow, a bow should. Una vez yo traté de estirarlo. It, you should be able to stretch it. Y yo no pude. And I couldn't do it. I tried it. No pude. I couldn't. Pero la Biblia me dice que Dios adiestra mis manos para estirar ese arco. But the, the word of God says that the Lord gives me strength to be able yeah. to do it. Cuando yo estoy débil, que no tengo fuerzas. When I am weak, when I don't have strength. La Biblia dice en segunda de Corintios. The Bible says in second of Corinthians. 12. 12. Cuando yo soy débil. That when I am weak. Entonces soy fuerte. Then I am strong. Yes. Aleluya. El versículo 36 sigue diciendo. Versículo Salmo 18, 36. Psalms 18:36 says, "Enchanzaste mis pasos debajo de mí, mis pies no han resbalado." Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. Dale, 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 no pierdas el tino. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Don't miss the aim. Una vez platicando con un hermano en la iglesia. One time I was preaching in the church. Platicando, conversando. Oh, oh I was uh, having a conversation. Y Dios empezó a tratar conmigo. And the Lord started to work on me. Dios empezó a hablarme. The Lord started to speak to me. Y Dios me dijo. And he told me. Si no, Jonathan, si no te enfocas. Jonathan, if you don't focus. Y no pones la perspectiva necesaria que you, debes de tener. And you don't place the, the, the right perspective where you need to be. A largo plazo. At the very end. A largo plazo. Um, in the long run. In the long run. Vas a fallar. You're going to fail. En el corto plazo. In the short run. Quizás salen las cosas bien. Maybe things will go okay. Y quizás las cosas salen in, más o menos. He's, Pero think, a largo plazo. But in the long run. Las cosas no salen nada bien. Things are not going to go right. right. Nosotros tenemos que tener nuestra mirada espiritual calibrada en el reino de Dios. We have to have our spiritual sight calibrated on Jesus. No podemos perder we el cannot, blanco. We cannot lose. ¿Alguien sabe qué es esto? Does anybody know what this is? Es una mira, un scope. A scope? Una mira. Tiene estas cositas. And he has these little things here. I know you, quizás ustedes saben más que yo. Uh, perhaps you know better how to use this than I do. <laughs> than he does. <laughs> yo sé que esta tiene dos, algunas tienen tres. I know this one has uh, dos. two, some have three. Rueditas que giran. Uh, little round circles that turn around, that turn. Y cuando Dios me habló, cuando estaba hablando con este hermano en, en conversación. And when I was speaking to this brother in conversation. I'm almost done, so. Ya casi termino. <laughs> um, Dios me habló duramente. The Lord spoke to me very heavily. Y me dijo, Jonathan, si no arreglas tu mirada. He said, Jonathan, if you don't fix your sight. Vas a afectar. You're going to affect. Mucha gente. A lot of people. A la, la, los que han disparado, los que han tirado en el, por deporte. 
as a sport the ones who have shot an arrow podemos disparar a, a unos cuantos en un cuerpo no importa le pegamos it doesn't matter we aunque can no shoot. esté calibrado even though it's not calibrated we could shoot pero si queremos llegar a la meta del supremo llamamiento but if we want to go to the goal of the al reino de dios donde to kingdom, somos to the kingdom of god or where we're at Necesitamos tener nuestra mirada bien calibrada. We have to have our focus very calibrated. Amen. Podemos decir oración un poquito más. We could say prayer just a little bit more. Intercesión, Espíritu Santo, ayuno, consagración, In, un poquito más. Intercession with, with, ayuno, oración. With fasting and prayer. Con una cosita, con algo tan pequeño, Something una cosita, so, una milésima, nada. So small, so tiny. Si no está calibrado, if it's not calibrated, correctamente correctly, con las cosas de Dios, correctly with the things of God, vamos a dañar generaciones. We're going to damage generations. El obispo oró por nosotros el lunes. Bishop prayed for us on, on Monday. O llamó a todos los jefes de familia. He called all the ones of the head no of the family. Él no sabía de mis notas hasta apenas es la primera vez que escucha mis notas. He didn't see my notes. It's the first time that he's actually hearing them. Pero algo nos conecta con el espíritu. But something connects us with the spirit. Yeah. Como padres de familia. As fathers of families. Households. Households. Head of households. Como padres de familia. Si no tenemos nuestra mirada enfocada. As head of households. If we don't have our focus. Vamos a perder la mirada. El gonna, tino. We're going to lose. We're going to lose the aim. Pero gracias a Dios por la poderosa oración que hizo. But thank God for the powerful prayer that he made. Para los jóvenes, for the si desde youth, pequeños no nos aseguramos de estar calibrados. If, if the youth, if we don't, we don't make sure that they're not calibrated from the, when they're younger. No van a poder pegarle al blanco. They're not going to be able to. Pero estamos, estamos but, metidos en la presencia de Dios. But we are in the presence of God. Aleluya. Mm -hmm. Ya para cerrar. And then to close. One, una escritura más. One more scripture. No lo Filipenses 4, 2, 3, 12. Philippians 3, 12 to 14. No que ya lo haya alcanzado, ni que ya sea perfecto, sino que prosigo a la meta. Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after. Por ver si logro así aquello por lo cual fui también asido por Cristo Jesús. If that I may apprehend that which also I am apprehended of Hermanos, Christ Jesus. Yo mismo no pretendo haberlo ya alcanzado. Brothers and sisters, I, I do not pretend that I have already reached it. Pero una cosa hago. But one thing I do. Olvidando las cosas. Del pasado. Forgetting the old things. Extendiéndome hacia la meta. Extending myself to the goal. Poniendo mi tino allá enfrente. Placing my aim up in the front. Prosigo hacia la meta. And I press towards the price. El premio del supremo llamamiento de Cristo Jesús. The price dale, of the high dale, calling. Dale, dale, dale. No pierdas el tino, iglesia. No I, pierdas el tino, iglesia. don't. Don't miss your aim, church.
Praise God. That's awesome. The mouth of two or three witnesses, they say. So, praise God. It is honor. If we just stand, I'm going to go to the Word right away. Um, it is a privilege to be here before you all and that Bishop, you know, lay, trusts me to be here before you guys. That means a lot. Genesis chapter 3, verses 7 through 10. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves apron. And they heard the voice of the Lord walking in the garden of the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. And I'm going to jump to uh, just read, and uh, I'll quote it in your hearing because it's already been quoted, Matthew 6.33, which is one of um, my wife's and I's, let's say, life verses. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all, his, all these things shall be added unto you. Praise God. In the name of Jesus, you may be seated. I titled this, No Hide But Seek. No hide, but seek. I grew up, I had the privilege of growing up on a five-acre piece of land. And our neighbors had five acres on one side and had five acres on the other. So as kids, we had 15 acres to play in and hunt in. I never knew how good I had it until I moved down here and you have to drive so far to find any place to hunt. They don't really like you hunting downtown Lombard. <laughs> but, um, and we would play this game. We called it war, but really it was hide and seek. And basically we went into the woods, because we had a lot of woods, and we would hide. And we would try to surprise each other, but... I usually didn't do that. I used, there was one tree in our neighbor's back area that had fallen over. It was a pine tree, and the branches were real thick, and it was like this, and it was perfect. I would just crawl underneath there and lay down on the ground. They, the others would come. I'd see them just outside the other limbs, but they never found me. And as soon as they walked off far enough, I got up and went back to the house and did whatever I would do. And eventually they would come wandering because I always was hiding that same place. I usually was drinking water or doing something. But Adam and Eve, they hid in the garden because they knew they were ashamed because sin had come into the garden. And... And the scripture says, I'm going to jump back. The scripture says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, as, as Elder Rodriguez spoke. Uh, we are to seek the kingdom more than fame. We are to seek the kingdom more than money. We are to seek the, mo uh, the kingdom of God more than career advancement. We are to seek the kingdom of God more than the latest fashions. We are to seek the kingdom of God more than a spouse. And we definitely don't seek positions in the church. We seek Him. God is always supposed to be number one. But what prevents some from seeking God? Well, we know sin, as Adam and Eve. Sin. The Bible talks about how the God of this world has blinded the eyes of people. And so some people don't seek God because they, 
they don't realize they're lost. They're just wandering life like this, not being able to see and but they don't know any better because they've never been able to see. And that's why Bishop Dobbs one time told us, pray that God will open up the eyes of the blind. Take the blinders off so that they can see, so that they can see they need a Savior and that they can get saved. And as I said, sin also keeps us away from it, from God, the presence of God. And sin is a hard taskmaster that can make one feel ashamed when the presence of the Lord is near, as it did Adam and Eve. When Adam and Eve sinned, because before they sinned, God would come in the cool of the day and talk with them and walk with them. And the Bible says that they were naked and they knew it not. But once they sinned, the story changed. No longer could they go into the presence of God or go walk with God in the cool of the day. And when the presence of God came, they, they, they covered themselves in fig leaves and hid themselves. But that wasn't good enough to stay in the presence of God because since they had, mankind had sinned, it now became necessary that the proper covering be upon mankind. Spiritually speaking, we know that we need the blood of Jesus covering us. But Adam and Eve had fig leaves. The Bible talks about that God, when we walk in spirit and truth, when we obey him, that he will robe us with his righteousness. Our righteousness is as filthy rags, but he robes us with his righteousness so we can go into the, his presence. The Bible also says, for as many of you as have put on Christ, or as we re received Christ, have put on Christ. We put on Christ as a covering. When I was studying this, this is what all of a sudden I felt God speak to me. People who don't preach truth are covering themselves with fig leaves. It's not the proper covering. You need the Spirit. You need truth in order to have the proper covering so you truly can come into the presence of God. Truly get salvation. Truly be able to experience Lord, the Lord in all His, as much as we can. God forget, get, bid that we allow or we open up our spirit and allow people who do not have truth to speak into our lives. Watching them on YouTube, listening to them on the radio. If they don't have truth, they're covered in fig leaves. Why in the world would we want to start because this could happen. If you start letting that come into your spirit because you opened yourself up, all of a sudden you start taking off your true robes and you pick up a fig leaf because that's what that person is giving out, fig leaves. We need the spirit of God. We need truth. And thank God we, we belong, we're going to a church that preaches truth that stands on the Word of God. Fig leaves won't get us to heaven. Fig leaves won't allow ourselves to stay in the presence of God. And fig leaves are not the armor of God. If you don't have truth, you can never have the armor of God upon you. You'll get burned with fig leaves. We will all get burned if we put on fig leaves instead of the armor of God. We need the armor of God, and the only way you can get it is by living 
in walking in the spirit, living in truth, obeying God's word. We need to not hide, but seek God. Seek his kingdom. Seek his truth. Seek his presence. Seek his righteousness As I read in Matthew 6.33, it says we are to seek the kingdom of God. Another term, and I, I'm really teaching. Another term is, you could use is be kingdom-minded. That doesn't mean all decisions of being when you're kingdom-minded are easy. They can come at a cost. It will. Amen, elder. Career advancement. Hey, we got this big promotion for you. But, you know, it, it probably work, you'll need to work a lot of evenings, probably weekends, Sundays. Or how about the co a college? Where we're picking a college. Kingdom-minded. Okay, I'm thinking about this college. Kingdom Mind says, is there a, you know, if, if that's, is there an apostolic church in that area? Is there an on fire apostolic church? Because there could be a Pentecostal church there, but it doesn't mean there's an on fire apostolic church there. And as the three Hebrew children, I don't have to pray about if this is the will of God because I'm kingdom-minded. I know that's not the will of God. I go to that college because there's not an on-fire church there. Nor do I want my kids going there. I've turned down promotions. I, they, they've approached me at work. Can you take? No, I can't. It's not, you know, because I knew it wasn't the will of God. Kingdom-minded. God takes care of our checkbook. When I was not married, I went to one singles conference. And I didn't go because I was looking for something. I heard Brother Jeff Arnold was preaching there and I, and I hadn't heard him, and I knew he was good. And so I, I went I went with a couple of my buddies, and they went there f looking for something. <laughs> tell me, I, I, I got to tell you this. If you want a good spouse someday, this is to the young, uh, the singles here. If you want a good spouse, seek the kingdom of God first. <laughs> seek the kingdom of God first. And his righteousness. Don't seek a spouse. Seek him. The true spouse. Thank you, Jesus. And I, I'm going to go with Hebrews 11.6 because the time. There's just something about when we seek God, when someone seeks God. In Hebrews 11.6 it says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And then in Matthew 7, 7 and 8 it says, Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. It is a principle in the word of God that if you seek God, he will be found. If you seek more of God, you will find more of God because it is a principle, it is his word, and he is not a liar. Zacchaeus was a rotten, no good tax collector in the Israelites. They hated him. But something inside, he had all this riches and fame because he had been robbing and cheating the Israelites and giving money to the tax collecting for, to the Romans. 
They hated him, but he heard that Jesus was coming. And he, tried, he saw the crowd, but he couldn't get in there because he was small. So he runs ahead, climbs a sycamore tree, not because he was hiding, but because he wanted to see Jesus. He was seeking Jesus. And the word of God says that that day salvation came to Zacchaeus' his house. The woman with the issue of blood, 12 years with the issue of blood, she sought the Lord. She sought Jesus. Just if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I will be whole. More than a healing to her physically came that day. A healing spiritually came to her that day because she sought the Lord. Even the Israelites in the Old Testament, they sinned. They started worshiping idols. And God said, forget you. He let people come and oppress them. And when they cried out to him, he said, go talk to those gods that you made. Let them deliver you. But there's something in the nature of God. Because when they turned their hearts to him and sought him, he said, I can't help it. I'm bringing a deliverer. And he would go in and raise up a judge to bring deliverance to them. In 2 Chronicles 7, 14, it says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. There is something when the hungry seek God. Help us, God, to never be full, but to always be hungry for more of you, Jesus. All these prayer meetings, what are we doing? We are seeking Him. We are seeking His will. We are seeking His righteousness. We are seeking His power and anointing. We are seeking that God would be glorified in us, in this church, in this community, in Illinois, United States, and throughout the world. We are seeking Him. When we're on the mountaintop spiritually, we seek God. When we're down in the valley, we seek God. When we're healthy and when we're sick, we seek God. When, we, when the enemy is attacking us on all sides, we seek God. When we're in peace, we seek God. When we don't understand why, hear that. When you don't understand, when we don't understand why we seek God. When we don't see a way, we seek God. When we feel defeated, we seek God. When we have victory, we seek God. All day, every day, we seek God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Remain standing if everybody would stand. We seek God. Question I ask, do all of us here, Do we feel as close to God as we have in the past? How is our seeking? There's times you will feel like you're on the, you're a rocket. And people have a tendency when you're on a rocket, you know, a good spiritual high, your things are, everything's going well. You start letting up. Things are good. That's why God sometimes has to let some things go into our lives. Some of us, if, some, if there wasn't a crisis, we probably wouldn't pray. If you don't feel as close, it doesn't mean you're in sin. 
But how's your seeking? Are you seeking him like you have in the past? Don't miss your aim. You heard it from our elder. And now you're hearing it from me. Seek God. Don't lose sight of Jesus. In the good times and the bad times, He's still God. He's still worthy. He's still worthy of our praise and our worship. When God is more important than the next meal of food. When God is more important than going golfing, just making up something. When he's more important, something that's important to you in your life, whatever it may be, you're in a good position because you're seeking, you're hungering for more of him. I, this altar is open. I am asking everybody, just come. We need to seek. Maybe you're in. You're maybe you are in a good. You're 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 in a nice. You're on the mountaintop. Don't let up seeking him. Maybe you're in the valley right now. We need to seek him. We need to not only individually but as a church to keep seeking him. Seeking his kingdom, seeking his righteousness, seeking his will. Jesus. That's it. Let's just reach out to him, church. Let's reach out. God is wanting to draw people closer tonight. He's not an angry father, he's a loving father that's saying, Yes, come, come, my children. Seek me, seek me, and I will be found. That's what he's, his word says. So let's seek him. That's it. Let's start reaching out to him. Let's cry out to him with our voices. Let's lift him up. Let's praise him. Let's reach for him. Let's surrender, whatever. If you have something in your life that you need to say sorry for, then tell him sorry, and you online can do the same. Let's reach for him. Jesus, we're reaching for you right now, Cotton. Hallelujah. God, forgive us for anything we've put in between us and you, God, that we allowed, oh God. Forgive us, oh God, for, for allowing at times, Lord, people who are just not in truth, God, allowing them to speak into our lives, God. Forgive us. Forgive us for anything we put in front of you, God, whether it's job, whether it's finances, whether it's getting more stuff, God. Help us, oh God, to put that stuff all aside, God, and to seek you, God, to seek you first, Jesus. Oh, God, yes, God, in the name of Jesus. For you that's here, that, is, that, that you've been asking yourself why a lot because of the things going on in your life, I encourage you to seek Him. Seek Him. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. If you got the Holy Ghost, pray in tongues. Pray in tongues because the Spirit knows what to pray. Jesus. Hallelujah.